Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Way of the Hunter, Aurora Shores, where last weekend we finally completed all the story stuff, so now we're going to be able to go into free hunting. Not that, like, anything was blocked off, it's just how I wanted to do the content, but what we're going to do first is actually increase the difficulty from Adventure at Default, which is what I have been playing, up to, uh, the Hard Mode here. Or... Yeah, do that. Yeah, so we're going to do hard mode, so what this is, animal senses are a bit better than they were. Uh, we still see small game bodies highlighted by column after death, but not all HUD info on that is going to be present. So this is more probably like how Hunter Class, or the Hunter Classic kind of is for like the info we would get. I am curious to see how, it, how we do in this difficulty. I'm not going to crank it all the way to max because let's face it, I don't think I have the skills to match up with it, at least not yet. So with the story out of the way, and us going into free hunt let's try and see how it is if I have these crutches taken off, in a way. So we're going to hop in, figure out a nice little loadout to take with us. I'm thinking maybe taking the crossbow and... Ah, uh, did you do... A tier 5 rifle. I could do tier 6, but I think I'd prefer to do tier 5 for it. We'll kind of see as we get into things. I definitely want to put the crossbow that we unlocked through the story mode into some proper practice and try it out. Given everything that was kind of like we had to do in order to get it, it makes sense that we want to try it out and see how it is. And I think it's also got a really good range of like tiers for it. I think it's like tier 2 to 6 it has, or even 3 to 6. Oh, actually, speaking of, that's what I've got equipped right now. So let's take a quick look at our inventory. It's two to six. Okay, yeah, we got that, and we can probably keep that, so you know what? I think it'll just be trying to get a f take a good look at the callers, and then we can basically head out with this. I just want to make sure everything, yeah, everything's kind of smooth for the recording. Okay, just because I was doing it in the menu first time, I didn't have a way to check. Uh, let's see, gear, gear, gear. Oh, wait, I need storage, my bad. Yeah, so we've got a predator call, we've got a rattle bag... Oh, let's see, that'll work for Sitka, although the rattle bag works for Sitka too. Maybe I could go for a moose collar or the elk collar. I'm trying to think of which one. Maybe we'll go for the elk instead. I mean, oh, although I do like... Well, we don't have the third tier of the collar thing unlocked yet, so maybe we'll keep this. We'll go for General Predator... Uh, kind of like General Deer and the Elk Caller. Take that with us and see how we'll do. And, oh, we have the UTV still sitting right outside. Actually, I want to check something. Does the UTV allow you to access the inventory from it as well or not? Because all I did was kind of hop in, do a few little circles around here to try it out. So does this actually have storage in the back? Oh, it does. That's nice. Okay, actually, truth be told, ooh, I, yeah, just had a little freeze up there for the map to load. I kind of want to go on foot leaving the lodge. Like, my reason being, we've, every time we've kind of departed from the lodge, we've always had animals really close to us. So, I kind of want to just allow that to play out and see if we can come across anything that we want to take on. I do have to mind how uh, how much better the animal senses are going to be, though, towards us. Like, one of the things that I think it was... I think it was both a mix of Nez Perce and uh, Transylvania. Is that the animal senses, sometimes they were really good, sometimes they were not so good. So, we'll see how this harder difficulty kind of measures up. And also see what how good or what all information our hunter sense provides now because with us switching up the difficulty there should be quite a bit more reduced or taken out of what hunter sense provides for us for okay that's actually interesting i could actually try for that i think Although, I should take a quick check. 
Oh, I just realized the wind's not really that helpful for us here. Oh, there's another call out. Let me just take a quick check again about what the uh, predator call works. Does it should brown bear black? Okay, it should work for. Oh, jeez. I just saw. It's talking about we might have some movement out there. Nope, and we got. Okay, call coming up from over there. I think I'm going to start with possibly a carrier move if I can. Yeah, because there's this herd right up here. So we'll see if we can get anything... Uh, any decent looking members out of it. Although it looks like they're kind of staying as a herd and moving off to somewhere, so it might be they're all in transit. Or, well, all in travel. Oh. Oh, we might have a couple... Uh, okay, that's a young male. Uh, I think the other one's a young male, too. I, I guess it doesn't hurt to try just going for, like, something easy to start us off with. I was kind of hoping for an adult or a mature. And got a moose way back up there, but I did not bring the moose collar. Yeah, so these guys should be a couple of low fitness males, so it's no problem, I think, if I go for them, even if they're young. Man. I do want to try our new crossbow out, so we'll probably use that on one of these two. Okay, the thing is, I'll want to have them very close if I can. So, okay, maybe about 40 meters, so I... Let me see if I can get them towards, like, the road there. I think that should be a decent enough distance to try with it. I think the crossbow zero is set at... Oh, hello. Oh, you're another young one. I do love, like, we can hear so many sounds on the go right now. And actually, if the black bear's over there, we might be able to try to even switch quickly and go after that next. Yeah, that might be our last call. Let's just see what happens to these ones as they're coming in. Like, he's getting towards the t distance I'd like to try for him at. It's just, I... I always dislike the front-on shots. So I'm hoping if I... Oh, uh, something big is all... Did the moose get called in with the rattle bag too? It's like, I... Oh, boy. Okay, this is more than I was expecting to show up. <laughs> so I've kind of got, like, a whole range of options here. Okay, that's an adult male right there. So maybe he'd be the best one to go for in this situation. It's like, again, I was not expecting to have... Hang on. I think that's a mature... Okay, no, that's another adult. Okay, yeah, so 40. I don't know if that'll take him right down or not. It w should have been a pretty good hit to him. But he's running off pretty steady still. Okay. I'll wait and see what happens, but yeah, I was not expecting all of a sudden the moose herd to be joining the caribou we pulled out. Oh, actually... That might be a moose need zone right there that I didn't realize we were right next to. 
Yeah, so let me put like the marker uh, maybe right over there. Kind of looks like that might be where the shot landed. Let me just snag this, see what this need zone is. Okay, yeah, so this was a moose need zone. They were basically coming right over here to start eating. So it was just luck of the draw that the two times kind of uh, collided like that. Oh! Okay, this is actually... Wow, I did not expect him to go down here. I thought he kept running off. Okay. Crossbow did a pretty good job then. Yeah, so how did that go through on him? Uh, managed to get through the rib and kept going right in deep for the lung. So if I actually placed the shot further ahead, that would have been a heart shot, but still, not too bad off for our first one with the crossbow. And you know what, I want to stay low, take a look up here, and then even see if we can hear the black bears calling again, because they weren't that far off. I just don't know if they would have gotten scared uh, once everything else ran off too or not. Because, yeah, I don't... I went right to a crouch to come up here, so I don't know if the bears would have been frightened off with everything else that's scrambled out of here or not. I could try a predator call and see, but I don't know if it would reply back. Man, truth, if I even hang around here, maybe the moose that we... Oh. Okay, see, that's quite a ways off, but I might still be able to bring him in. I'll just kind of hunker up here. And I probably should have kept my eyes more somewhere over this direction. Okay, we almost got the moose calling, so yeah, they might be coming back this way. I just want to take a look up. Okay, I can actually see up to the peak there. So it might not be too far off that the black bear was calling from, but we also have to mind that we now have the moose behind us too. So I think I basically just want to stay kind of low and hunkered up in a little spot that just lets me listen out from both directions. And then one of the nice things about using the callers like this is we'll actually be continuing to work up towards the next perk for, like, the final call level. Ah, uh, right here. Oh, I need to sell seven more called animals. Okay, now see, I think that, yeah, that's further away than it was, so I don't think we've got the bear interested in us. Might have the moose come back in, but I don't know for sure. And I could try. Yeah, I could try for high fitness. Maybe the reason why the... that got a quick reply, perhaps. I was going to say, in case the uh, it is a high fitness male. Maybe that's why it's not drawn in. But given how quick that repl that call went out, I... See, I don't know if it's actually like there is responses to our calls that go out, or it's just how they are. But again, I just want to kind of mind our front and back because of how I've got ourselves in our place here. I haven't heard anything more from the moose, so I think... Oh, 
Actually, I see what probably is a wolf need zone up there we can check out too. But yeah, for now, we'll just try a little bit more with the call. See if we can kind of get... Yeah, it is coming in. Okay, so that's good to know. I think I want to... Yeah, I'm going to hunker down a little bit more so I'm even more hidden as it's trying to make its way in. As it seems like that... The caller is doing the trick now, and it is on its way to investigate. Now, I, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should try using the crossbow for the bear if, it, if we are given the chance to. Like, what's the highest we can zero into? Okay, 50 meters, so at least that gives me kind of like a idea of like reference for where we can work with it. I just don't know how far out the bear is right now. Like, I do have our Tier 5 rifle we can use as well, although I think if we're going to try pulling that off, we have to be in pretty close distance. Because back on Nez Perce... Oh, that's... Okay, Moose Cobble from way off, so that's probably that herd that we saw trying to come towards the feed zone here before. It says 40 to 60 meters out, so it's coming in really close now. Okay, we'll keep zoomed out. Maybe get ourselves ready with 30 meters for our zero distance. Although, I do have to say, one thing that's interesting is for increasing the difficulty... Oh, there you are. We're still able to actually see, like, the distance with our shot in the top right there. <sighs> okay, let's wait. Because I think that... Shoot, it's gone. I was hoping maybe it'd be like the moose and drop down pretty quick, but... I might have just gotten the shoulder and didn't get through to the lung on it. Yeah, I saw him running again. Okay. Let's investigate and see what the shot says. Like, I, that's the only problem with calling the animals in, is it makes the, all the shots have to be front on, and I'm not really that good with them. Yeah, see, animals survived. And it's going to be going way off, so I don't think it's going to be worth it. Um, hmm. I could try chasing it down, or I could leave it and try coming back. That's kind of torn on what I should try here. It's like, it is moving more to the east, and I think we're getting into areas... Might have better visibility from. Yeah, I gotta remember not to go for shots I don't feel that confident in, because that one I admit. I thought maybe I could just get the lung from it, but I think it probably hit into the shoulder blade and didn't go as deep as it could have. I'm just going to see if I can try to get up to the, towards the top of this hill. See if I can look around and spot it. It's 
Yeah, it's probably gotten a good distance in its run. Okay, there's another black bear call. I can't imagine it's the one we just hit. But it could give me a try at another one. And I am hearing other calls too, but... Let me just kind of see, like, what area the, that call is coming from. Okay, red fox call as well. Oh, this is actually right back near the lodge, I think. Yeah, there's the lodge literally right there. So let me see, maybe I can try... Okay, gotta be careful going downhill here, but... Maybe I can pull this bear in and we'll get a better shot with much better visibility towards it here. I don't know if it's going to be, uh... High fitness or a low is a problem too, but... Okay, that's... I don't think the same one we heard before. But if it's getting called in... It could possibly be the one I just wounded? Oh, this is... Okay, I'm going to try crawling down a little more... towards the bottom of the slope here. And just see how this plays out. Because, I mean, if this is the one I wounded, I would be very happy if we can put it down so that we, we know we don't have it out there. But I don't... Oh, I also have to remember that that's right, is... This is a full-blown predator call, so it's going to work on... The foxes, too, that just called from there, although... The distance is a lot greater out for the fox, so we might have the bears in sooner, or one of the bears. Okay, I see that one's staying at 140 distance. God, there's so much life right now. We got the elk call, the bear call, the bear fox call. Although it's not coming in any closer, or at least it's not coming in very quickly. I think it's, like, it seems like it goes uphill and then down, so it's probably just on the other side of the hill there. I'll give it, oh yeah, we still got quite a bit of time. So we'll just keep working with the call, see how it, how this plays out. And what comes about of everything we're trying here. Okay, that one says farther out now. Yeah, we got all kinds of things going off for noises to worry about, but... I don't know if we're actually pulling any of the bears in. Like, we are hearing calls, but the distance hasn't been closing on them. I think that was a moose call from behind us? Oh, no, we got... Okay, no, it's over there is the moose call. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff making noise that we're not actually after. I'll try one more call at this high finesse and see 
if we get any more calls out from, like, the bear we're hearing. Now, the distance hasn't gone down on its next call. Then we'll try working with the low finesse, and that might bring it in. Or low fitness, or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same. The bear, though, is silent right now. Nope. Okay, no, it is coming in. That's good to see. So, yeah, it's still a ways out, because the trees over there are, well, that's 20 meters there. Okay, basically, once he shows up, we're going to be, like, at the lowest distance the crossbow can zero out at. But I, I also don't know if this will be, again, the one we wounded or a completely different one. Nope, not that one. And one of the things is, when it does come to, like, the animals you have just wounded, unless you can see, like, the wound itself, I don't know if you'll have a lot of ways to go off and know, like, it's how uh, you previously hunted or not. Or like you previously took a shot or hit it or anything. Like for the Hunter Classic, that one had at least a fairly good way the animals would generally limp no matter how the wound they were given was. So you could at least visually see, okay, that one's limping, that's the one that I hit before. But I don't think Wave the Hunter has anything like that. Or if it does, it has to be, like, a specific way it's been hit. Like, you actually have to have hit one of the legs, and that will be the one that it's limps on or something. Okay... Okay, it says 60 to 80. But I don't know if it's actually closing in or not. Like, I thought it would have made more distance towards us if it was... ...being drawn in. Hmm. Okay, again, it's... I can't... Yeah, see, the only... Okay, I think that tree there is around the 60 meter mark that's in between the two. But because of how the boughs are, I can't really see through it. So, given how much time we've committed, we might as well just use, like, sunk cost fallacy and just keep it going until whatever happens here. Again, it just, it keeps calling out from the same kind of spot. I don't know if it's, like, gotten itself stuck on the terrain, or... There's, like, a area around the lodge it can't come close to. Okay. 
you're like, that? Again, it's still staying about that distance. I don't really want to go towards it. But I don't know if I'll be able to pull it in towards me with how it, like, is stuck at this spot. The thing is, if I try going towards that path there, I could spook it right out and... It's for nothing. It feels a bit strange that, again, there's no... Unless it's just been super cautious coming in. Uh, we got the elk call there. Okay, I don't know what that sound is, because that's usually... From what I've been playing in the game so far, that usually is like an indicator or something running away and... I might just have to let the bear go, because I don't hear any more calls from it, and again, it just felt super weird. It took as long as it did and didn't want to keep coming in at a certain point. So yeah, I might just have to let it go. It is good to know the callers do work pretty well, though. We gotta test them out a little bit, even if my marksmanship was off the mark for today's episode. Oh, see, there he was. Yeah, that's him running off there. You can see the string of all the sound. So he was kind of close, but again, nothing that I would have thought would have kept him back. Oh. oh I got a moose right out there. Although I don't think I'd be able to... Oh, another one there. God. Yeah, so I think it was a smart idea not to take a vehicle just because of how plentiful the wildlife is. So next episode, we'll go back to the road, keep trying to work our way down, see what else we can get, and try not to spend too long on a single animal because, I mean, we want a free hunt, so we're going to hunt. Now, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Way of the Hunter. If you did enjoy the video, you should give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should in the comments right down below. And until I do see you all next video, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.